guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Complex. Today we're riding our Harley Davidson motorcycle. Just kidding, it's actually an e-scooter. Literally, it looks exactly like a motorcycle. How crazy! Now, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and rewind and ride it. Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at an all new e-bike motorcycle. Now this thing looks really cool. It's almost like a Harley Davidson, uh, it's an electric. And I'm kind of curious to see exactly how it is now. This thing came in a freight. So it's actually really big and it weighs over 200 pounds, which is why we're building it here in the garage. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's inside. All right, so this here's everything that you get and looks really nicely wrapped. Now, uh, there's a few components. For instance, we have this box right over here, a power adapter here, uh, and it does also come with some spare fuses. Uh, this thing is actually a pretty high voltage charger. So this here has an output of 67.2 volts. So yeah, not too bad. But yeah, so this here's our charger. Uh, we have this nice looking pouch that says M1. Phone mount. We have some wrenches. Uh, we have some keys, and then we have a product user manual here. So I believe these are mirrors, which yes, they are. So we got some <laughs> some rear mirrors. These are really nice looking. Wow, look at that! This thing is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> this thing looks like a crazy motorcycle. All right, we've got some uh, some keys. Look at the metallic paint on this thing. This is actually a very, very high quality paint grade material, almost as if it's a real car. So that's something you don't really see too often in these kind of bikes. All right, so, I mean, it seems like it's practically built together. We've got mounts on our wheel, uh, put on our handlebars, and yeah, let's go ahead and queue up the montage next and see what this thing looks built. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. All right, so we're all set and ready to go, and look at this thing. It absolutely looks like a real Harley Davidson motorcycle. Now, obviously, it's more of a pint size scale just because you have the smaller tires, but the frame itself looks very identical. So, as you kind of get a little closer, you can see that you do have the rotors. Uh, you got the drill slot rotors with the two calipers for the front and the back. You do have suspension for both the front and the rear. Now, the battery casing is here in the bottom. That's going to be your battery. You have a little lock there, and then you have two step stools that you can go ahead and put on there as well. Now, it's got this nice leather stitching, I believe. I don't know if that's real leather, but that is actually a nice quality stitching. Now, in terms of the controls itself, so you do have your brake fluid here, you have your mirrors, uh, you have your brake control here, and then you have your throttle. So it's just simple go and brake, that's about it. Now, you have your uh, horn button, you have your light button, uh, and you have your turn signals, your headlights, and your emergency hazards. So you have everything that you can use in terms of legalizing it for road use. Now, it's got both front lights and tail lights, and it also has a license plate mount as well in the rear. Now, in addition to that, they also included a phone holder where you can go ahead and place your phone on there. And yeah, overall, it's a great looking scooter. Now, it does come with its own set of keys, which you can see right over here. So we can go ahead and unlock it or we'd lock it. And it's got its own built in alarm system. Now, right now, it's currently locked. And if I decide to move it, it's going to go off as an alarm. <laughs> so you can turn that off just like that. Now, it does have ignition. So this is cool. So you just take the key, place it in the ignition, turn it, there you go. And you do have two gauges that actually light up. Now one will show your power and one will show your speed as well as the miles in terms of different power modes. So it does give you live readout in terms of what's happening. Now in terms of the seating position, it's simply just sitting like this. And then you can even go ahead and adjust the handlebar. So there's four bolts here. You loosen it, you can go ahead and bring it down a little lower. You can bring it higher up, more based on your personal preference. 
Now, it does have a safety mechanism. So if I try going right now, it's not gonna move. The moment I push up my kickstand, this will enable it to go ahead and allow us to ride it. So it's simply hit the throttle and we're ready to go. <laughs> And just like that, it's that easy. So let's go ahead and take it for a ride and see what it's all about. So overall, a lot of fun to ride. Now it really does ride like a real motorcycle, so I would exercise caution when you do use it. It does have a, almost like a wide stance feel. Now it is a bit of a learning curve and it's definitely a really heavy scooter. So you can't really move this around or kind of store it away. It is gonna take an actual spot in the garage. And yeah, overall, I have to say, it's, so it's definitely a step up and a really cool product design in terms of scooters goes. And I'm really excited to see what the future holds. Now, if you guys wanted your own, check out the link down below in the description. And with that said, if you have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.